Hi, my name is Eric Canton. My company is Virtual Creations. I have a couple of videos on YouTube and a, uh, a website uh, where you can kind of see some of my projects and uh, Facebook. I have quite a few uh, different images and different things that we've done. I created this video as sort of a first introduction about uh, myself, my company, and uh, what, what I've done and what the company is trying to do. I, uh, I didn't want to be one of those designers that uh, researches things uh, in, uh, in books and on the internet and then go to clients and tell them, hey, this is, you know, this is a great idea, we should do that. I also didn't like that every time I proposed something to a builder, uh, I got the, oh, it's, you know, it's too hard, it's too complicated, we can't do it. And I was always kind of like, you know, really? Um, that seems, you know, kind of interesting. And so when the opportunity came on my own house to, uh, for the need to add an addition and do certain work or certain upgrades, I took all of that knowledge, uh, both uh, design as well as technical, and uh, I decided to be the guinea pig. I decided to uh, experiment on myself. So, you know, we did uh, super insulation. We spray foamed in a 1964 uh, side split. Uh, we used Durasol, which is a type of ICF block. We insulated basement slabs. We upgraded mechanical systems. We went to uh, an electric tankless hot water heater. Uh, we put solar panels on the roof. Uh, we did a drain water recovery, uh, LED lightings, uh, light bulbs and, and light fixtures. And essentially, you know, I just tried to, to do as much as I could um, using different things. And what you see on uh, these YouTube videos, what you see on my website and uh, any subsequent projects and, uh, since this, uh, my own house, is the culmination of all of um, the things that I learned, uh, the, the things that did work, the things that didn't work. Um, and uh, oftentimes, uh, I was not basically just doing the drawings and giving them to contractors or tradespeople to do. Uh, when it came time to, uh, to do, like for example, use SIPS panels, uh, I was here. Uh, I was framing the walls, I was framing the roof with the SIPS panels alongside the carpenters. And I wanted to see how it how they came together, what the issues were, uh, what were some of the difficulties with the product uh, that could maybe over, be overcome with uh, design. So my, my hope is, is that uh, you watch these videos, they're entertaining, if nothing else. Uh, maybe you learn something uh, for your own project, but uh, if you are in the need for someone to design you a house or an addition, uh, that uh, you, you might learn a little bit better uh, who I am and be more interested in getting me to do that design for you and those construction drawings and hopefully we can also apply some of the uh, more interesting uh, products and more interesting techniques. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, very very happy uh, at the energy efficiency of the home uh, obviously how much money uh, we are saving on our utility bills uh, and how much money we're generating from things like the uh, solar panels. Uh, but uh, I, I'm not, I'm also, that's not the only reason why I did all of those things. I did them because it, I ended up with a better house. It's a, it's a stronger house, it's a more comfortable house. Um, and I always tell people that, uh, you know, why, when they ask me, well, why would you go through the effort of insulating, um, you know, putting R30 or R40 insulation on your walls and R60 in your ceiling and doing it all out of uh, spray foam. And uh, I always tell them the same story, and that is is that uh, we used to go into uh, my daughter's bedroom, which was um, uh, which is on the northeast corner of the uh, of the house, and it was a 1960s four side split, so we had that uh, large cantilever on the front of the house. And uh, we would go in and check on her, and uh, she'd be all curled up in her bed in the corner, and uh, it was, her room was freezing. It was the coldest room in the whole uh, in the whole house, and uh, the walls were cold. And I said, you know, I'm not going to stay in a house where you know every room is a different temperature, and where I have to always wonder whether or not uh, one of my children is uh, is dressed appropriately. So, yeah, the reason why we ended up with uh, R30 or R40 insulation in the walls is to increase the energy efficiency, to reduce our consumption of natural gas and electricity. But at the end of the day, the, the real value is, is the comfort level inside the house. Um, the, all the uh, rooms are uh, stable temperature, whether it be in winter or in summer. Uh, 
we don't have wild temperature swings, uh, both the moisture, uh, whether it be too, too moist or too dry, has been moderated with that. And overall, uh, the house has just become a better home. So I look forward to uh, watching the video and any comments. And uh, if you are interested in, uh, in a house designed or a, uh, an addition uh, for, your, uh, for your existing home or some renovations, send me an email. I'd be uh, very happy to look after you.